been busy for years, but just to get a, a, a night out and a date <laughs> night and to give everybody a date night, what's it what's it mean to kind of provide this sort this sort of experience? Date night, country music. We met at a country music yeah. bar, um, and then to be able to, to shine a light on, on Treasure House and our residents, uh, it's awesome. I mean, we look forward to it all the time. You know, sometimes life gets busy, and you say, "Oh gosh, do we need to have one more thing on our plate?" But it's moments like this, it's nights like this, where you're reminded of the incredible platform that you have and the incredible support that you get in the community and the chance that you get to impact people's lives. So uh, we're going to have fun. We're going to laugh. We're going to dance. Um, but most importantly, I, I think we're going to get a chance to share Treasure House and our residents with uh, with all these incredible people that are here and, and let them know that uh, that they can have uh, a huge impact on people's lives. All right, take me back to that country music bar. First of all, was he wearing the bolo tie? Oh, my God. No, he was he not. Was, did, did you think you'd have this opportunity to have a night of like that? Of course night? not. I mean, I grew up with a dad that made John Deere tractors, and, you know, we punched in for the time clock and punched out. I thought that's what life looked like. So. God's enjoying this, um, but it's been an honor to do this life with him. And when he asked me to dance that night, 25 years later, I, I you know, would have no idea. And I don't think I would want to know because this has been freaky, but wonderful. And tonight is just another aspect of it that we get to shine a light. And I don't understand celebrity side of it, but if it gets to do this, then bring it on. Well, we, we've uh, kind of saw it all play out in real time. A lot of us who have some gray in the beard now, uh, some? but for the yes, yeah, well, I, I can't. You know, see I got a guy. Yeah, yeah. Mine, but okay, <laughs> you say so. It's getting there. It's getting there. But just just to, since the movie and everybody's seen that. I mean, I watched it on a plane, and other people were watching it on a plane. How is is that changed life at all for you guys? Um, you know, I don't know so much for us, but I think it's shined a light on Zach. I think that was one of the cool things about the movie is they shared Zach's story. So it's shining a light on, on Treasure House and opening up people's eyes to what the possibilities are. Uh, there's so many people that have been affected, uh, having a family member or someone close to them affected by intellectual and developmental disabilities. To see that played out on the big screen, to see it played out by an actor that's legally blind and getting that opportunity. I mean, so many of those things has been the cool part of it. I don't know how much it's affected our celebrity, so to speak, but it has impacted you know, what we're trying to do and the impact that we're having. And I think touching families to go, oh my gosh, you know, I see that, I've been there, uh, and, and, it, and it shines a light on, on the possibilities of what they can be and what they can accomplish in life and what their family can accomplish. So that to me has been the coolest part and the part that's blown up that I would probably say, I didn't know if I expected that, but it's been very, very welcome. In Treasure House, we were there kind of when it was drawings and the first one of these. So what's what's the newest, latest, and greatest thing there? Yeah I, yeah, I don't know if there's, you know, from a building standpoint, the newest and greatest thing is that it's full with, it's full with incredible young people with tremendous energy that every time you walk into that place, you're infected. And, um, you know, every time we go, we're like, why don't we go more often? Like, you talk about date night tonight. Date night there, uh, you know, a dance party there, uh, the energy is just incredible. And that's what I think we're blown away with, is that we had these visions for this, this great building and all of the stuff, but buildings and bricks mean absolutely nothing if you don't have the people that make it come alive. And that to me is what Treasure House is. It's an unbelievable building, it's beautiful, but it's about the people that have made Treasure House come alive, and that to me, when I think about her dream and her saying, we're going to do this, and I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, I think about it, I'm like, thank God that she pushed that direction because I do. I see young men and women that are believing for new things every single day, and that's what makes that beautiful building beautiful. All right, I know you guys want to get dancing. I just have one football question, maybe two for Kurt. I'll just get to one. Just Cardinals, I mean, everybody's kind of, we've, we, I feel like we've seen a lot of really pedestrian football so yeah. far this year. So when you turn on the tape and see Kyler and Cliff screaming at each other, and we saw a couple of sideline screaming uh, situations with you over the years, what, what do you see from the Cardinals at this point? In the year? Well, I mean, I think they're a team that's trying to find their identity, and it's, you know, something that you, you see a lot of teams going through it with lack of time in preseason, with you know, arguably your best player not playing for six weeks, uh, going through transitions and stuff. And so I think the beautiful thing is you can be at this point in the season and you're still in the thick of everything because a lot of teams are trying to figure out who they are. And so, you know, there's always turning points in the season. At some point, you gotta, you got to turn that corner and you've got to show consistency. They haven't done that to this point, but maybe last Thursday, D-Hop coming back, maybe even the, you know, the, the fiery exchange on the sideline 
turns that corner for them because they're in a great position to make a run and, and have a chance to be in the playoffs. And we all know once you get to the playoffs, anything's possible. Did you text Todd Haley last week at all just to kind of laugh a little bit? Say remember we, when? We, we talk about it all the time. My kids love bringing that up. Anytime they see something like that happen on the sideline, they're like, Dad, do you remember that time? And so, uh, so yeah, I, I don't remember a lot of screaming matches for me on the sideline, but that one is brought up quite often in my household. Yep.